Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is Lenovo X1 Extreme. So today in this video, we're going to learn how to deal with any sort of overheating issues, especially with the gaming laptop or decent laptop like that. Okay, it could be across the brand and model. You can apply the same uh, procedure, same strategy to solve the problem. And before we start, I would like to say it might be this method wouldn't work if the GPU is already damaged by the overheating. As you can see, this laptop just uh, unexpectedly restarted. Okay, after a couple of minutes running, the fan made the high noise as possible and then went to completely blank, even the secondary monitor and the first primary monitor as well. Okay. Now it's starting up again. And sometimes the trackpad does work, sometimes doesn't. So when you have these sort of issues, when you face these sort of issues, I would say that might be uh, the software issues, the operating system, if it has the bad updates, okay? If it doesn't have any sort of uh, operating system or the software issues, then I would say, please double check your RAM stick. If the RAM stick is fine, if nothing wrong with the RAM memory, then I would say, please double check your heat sink and the cooling fan. Based on that, we can figure out where is the problem. So if your heat sink and the actual cooling fan, GPU, CPU, both, does have a lot of dust and completely blocked, can't breathe that much, then I would say, still might be you can save your laptop. So let's get into the point. Today I'm going to open this up, check the actual cooling fan conditions. If I find too dirty, I'm going to clean it up properly. Um, the heat sink, then fan, even inside the fan, and then the radiator. Then we're going to apply really good thermal paste. We'll start up and see if it does have this sort of unexpected restarting. All right. So if it does have the power, make sure you switch it off completely and turn this laptop Make sure you do have the right tools to open up. By the way, you can see the fan does have circle white dusty mark. This is the indication of dart, you know? And those are the tools that you should have. Flat opening tool, tweezer, paintbrush, good thermal paste, your big home cleaner, compressed air, you know, blue roll, any sort of tissues also does help. And if you do have old toothbrush, that will also help to remove the actual uh, old thermal paste. By the way, in this video, I did use some sort of compressed, you know, uh, spray, which is called PCB cleaner. By the way, you can see the actual fan is completely, is completely gone. As you can see, a lot of dust. I don't know how does it run. This is less than two years old, but I have no idea why it went that dirty. All right, so I used the 99.99% rubbing alcohol before I rubbed the old thermal paste to clean out. And by the way, before you touch anything else, I would say disconnect the battery. Now, days they use this sort of battery connector some of them you can just pull the tab some of them you need to unlock the actual latch before you pull out so make sure you know the correct way to disconnect it and once it disconnected then we're going to take out all the necessary screws okay and some screws especially the heat sink one and the cooling fan one, those are really, really weak, okay? And before you forget, make sure you disconnect the CPU and GPU fan connector. And please do not forget to connect it back when the job is done. Otherwise, <laughs> the actual GPU and CPU would burn out, okay? So as I said, this video is going to be a little longer, about 2 to 13 minutes. If you don't have patience, you can skip and get it to the core point to see how to clean properly step by step. And if you do have time, I would suggest you please enjoy the video. And if you have any sort of suggestion or anything, leave it in the comment section, guys. Now, 
let's enjoy the main part by the way end of this video you're gonna see this this machine already uh, protected and solved from the overheating issues if you apply the same procedure might be that would help as well if it doesn't I'm really sorry but it's worth it to give it a try before you give up right All right, here is the caution. Be careful because as you can see, there is a string attached to this actual fan frame and this one goes to the heat sink. This is a sensor cable. So if you remove it and the actual bio system would recognize the fan is faulty or fan error. Be careful, don't pull this and uh, cut the string.
So now almost everything is clean and we put back everything correctly. I'm going to turn on the machine and check if it is running correctly without getting unexpected restarting. Then the actual screen was blinking and many other problems. So if it doesn't come back and if the power does stays, we could say everything has fixed. So I can see the fan spinning correctly. There is no issues. Let's check if there is any light. Yes, there is. And the actual trackpad also working. So before it used to get kind of stuck, frozen, middle of the way. And I can feel the actual heat sink is quite hot, about 60 to 65 degrees Celsius, which is absolutely fine because at the starting point, laptop does get the actual CPU does get the highest temperature then slowly slowly it goes back to the normal as you can see the fan still spinning and I can feel it the heat sink is getting little bit you know cooler than before there is only one RAM let's check the screen if it does work again yeah so you could say this is fixed, you know, as I said, this method would not help if the GPU is completely damaged, you know, but if let's say the problem just has begun, then might be that would save your laptop's lifespan. So thanks for watching. Still, if you do have any question, don't forget to leave it in the comment section. And I hope I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.